hello guys welcome to my this video and from this video just i'm going to start a react so guys in this first video just i will show you what are the basic thing we need to install in our local machine for running react project and how to download a dummy react application so guys this video it's for beginner also and guys one more thing here i'm just sharing my knowledge and guys if you want to learn the angular so i have made some uh, videos on angular you can check my playlist angular tutorial and you can watch angular videos also so guys now i'll move to the react okay so here in the first tab you can see i have already opened a react official site okay so this link i will provide in my description and why i have opened the official site so that you can understand after that but guys first of all the thing what we need to install in our machine before starting a react application that is guys node.js if you are the beginner so you have to be know that is node.js we need to install when if you are using react or if we are using angular okay because angular and react both are npm package we install for both so that's why npm means node packet package manager so that's why we need to install node.js first of all okay so if you don't know how to install so just here you have to be open your browser and simply you have to be type download node.js this one okay uh, by the way i will provide the all the link whatever i will open in this video in my description so here the this first link you have to be click okay and if, uh, here this link i will provide in my description so you don't need to do anything just go to my description and check the link you will directly redirect here and after that guys it is very simple here if you are using windows like if you don't know how to check in your machine is windows or uh, the version i mean it is 32 bit or 64 bit so simply you will find my computer in your machine and there you have to be right click and there you can and uh, see whatever you are using if you don't or uh, uh, after that you are getting any problems so you can watch any other tutorial you can easily understand okay if you are the beginner but uh, and guys here you can see windows installer i mean if you are using windows in windows so that time two way you can download node.js one is installer i mean directly you can you will get the ex fi exe file or you can get the zip file so both you can download but guys i will suggest to download this dot msi and what uh, here is the two option 32 bit or 64 bit so what you have to be download so check your my computer uh, the bit that is 32 or 64 if it is 64 so simply you have to be download this one and if it is 32 so see, then you have to be download this one okay and don't need to download this zip because if you download zip then you have to be extract and uh, again you have to be install but if you download this one so directly you can install because you will it will be downloaded the exe file right so i hope it is clear so here uh first check your 32 bit or 64 bit you are using so after downloading here i'm not downloading because i have already downloaded so that's why i don't need to download but if you are downloading so after that you will get the exe file and here just simply you have to be installed this node.js and there is nothing okay so simply you can install node.js so this one is first thing okay and if you are using mac so that time you can download this one mac 64 bit uh, anything everything you will get here okay so i will close this one and this link i'll provide in my description so don't worry about it so after that guys here this link also i will provide okay in my description so why i have opened this link so after install the node.js then we need a react react application by the way if you don't know, want to download uh, dummy react application so you can do all the thing customizely okay but guys i mean uh, everything you can start from custom but guys here always for saving our time what we do just we download a dummy react application and after that we just modify we create pages as per our requirement so guys how you can download so after open this this page just you have to be scroll down and here you will find a comment so here you can see this is the comment for downloading re dummy react application by the way the dummy react application i have already downloaded for saving the time so guys here what you have to be do just you have to be copy this comment the first comment okay here you can see and after that in which dive you 
you want to install your or download the dummy react application okay so you have to be open that drive so suppose guys here i want to install e drive so here you can see i have open e drive you can see here in the top okay and here i have already downloaded the dummy react application but here i'm showing because if you uh, you may the beginner so you it will be confusing for you so that's why here just after opening your dive here you will find this option okay so simply you have to be click here this panel okay after that here you have to be type cmd like this whatever i am doing just follow the same step and it will be open the comment from here and uh, why i have open comment from like this way because here you can see it's open this comment from it's open already in e drive so that's why i open from here right suppose you want to download in any other drive like d drive f drive whatever drive you have in your machine so just you have to be open and simply here you have to be click and type cmd and enter right it will be open your command prompt like this okay so i'm i'm i want to install it or download it in e drive so i have open e drive here and after that simply just here you have to be paste the command which you have copied from react official site right so here after that just you have to be press enter so guys it will start to just install your dummy application and during the installation here here one more thing i want to clear so guys during installation you it may get any question like uh, anything any question here in the comment from you may get so that time simply you have to be press y y from your keyboard and then enter okay i hope it is clear again i'm saying if get any question during download in your comment from so just simply you have to be press y from you in your keyboard and after that enter okay so this way you will find it will be installed same like here i already install i install in e drive so here if i open install so here you can see there is the some other folder example node.js some other folder but don't focus on that here you can see this my app because guys here the here you can see npx npx create react app okay this is the command and this is our application name my app by the way if you want your application name some other name so you can write instead of my app anything you can write like demo demo project so here it will be fine in your drive here it's a demo the project name will be demo but here i install same like my app okay like my app so my project name downloaded by this my app name okay i hope it's clear if here any doubt so simply you can write comment and many viewers like send me a mail okay so guys don't do that don't send me mail you can simply write in comment because sometime i i don't get any time to uh, read the mail okay so simply you can just write in comment section it is better okay or if it is a, like any doubt like we need to send uh, some uh, screenshot your error or anything so that time in comment i will just reply like connect my insta id okay so guys don't send the mail because i like i don't focus the mail maximum time i don't get time so write in comment i always check the comment first of all so guys here this way you can download your react application i hope it is clear okay and so any doubt so write comment okay or, or you can directly send my um, uh, send message in insta also so now guys i will just close this comment prompt because i don't need that okay and now guys here you have to be open visual studio code if you don't know how to install it is very simple also guys here same way just you have to open browser and here you have to be write download visual studio code okay you will get the link visual studio code this one okay so simply you will get the visual studio code download link so this link i will provide in my description also and here just you have to be click download so it will be downloaded and installation is very easy here okay so i'm not showing that if you want so you can watch any other tutorial you will get it easily in youtube okay 
or uh, you can write my comment so i will try to make the separate video uh, so guys after that just here you have to be open your visual studio code editor and guys here this video may be little long because guys here everything i'm explaining because many viewers are the beginner maybe so that's why they can easily understand so that's why i'm explaining all the things okay so after opening here just you have to be click file and guys here you will get the new file option but i will not suggest to click this one i will suggest come here and here you can see the add folder to workspace so this option you have to be click so after that here i just downloaded application in e drive so i will open and the my application name is my app so i will open this one okay so after opening this one just here you will find terminal option okay so you have to be click terminal new terminal okay and after that it will be open this one okay it's already open two terminal i don't need that so i will close the first one and here you can say the terminal so simply here you have to be type npm start okay just see the command npm start and why and after that enter from your keyboard and why i have written this command because guys i i want to show the this project in browser right so that's why i have to be run this command okay if you have watched my angular tutorial already so that time uh, you can easily understand here why i have written this command because uh, this 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 is the library and angular is the framework so when we run this project so uh, like here we need to uh, we need to run a command okay for angular it was ng serve and for react it is npm start so here you can see this project is started to run right so guys this link now for that i will just close and now here you can see my project is running so in which url it is running so here you can see localhost localhost means our local machine and this is the port number 3000 okay so this port this react application is running and how this logo is coming so that i will show you also and here i will show you the basic project structure whatever uh, in this my app okay so that i will also discuss so guys now let's understand the project structure okay whatever we downloaded by the command so now guys here what i will do just this terminal i will decrease the size okay and now guys here you will get this project structure like this first of all after open it in visual studio code editor and just after that you have to expand and now guys here you will get some folder like this okay the main thing first one you have to be open source because guys maximum time we will create any component component means guys if you don't have any idea so guys here i will use the term is component component is nothing if you have the basic knowledge of html so guys component simply it's it's a html html css and javascript or the if we use typescript so the uh, combination of html css or javascript uh, uh, or typescript so those are the component we call it okay so when we, we will create the component so all the thing we will create in our source folder okay that is so when we have downloaded this react application so here by default we just it's down it's created a component the component default component is app dot js file okay if you uh, if we want to use typescript so here simply we can just change this extension it ts okay here i am using javascript so the extension is js but if you want to use typescript so simply you can change the extension using right click rename and ts file but now we don't need that okay so here app.js file so what is that so guys first of all the some basic thing about react so guys when we use any image in index.html simply html file or angular if you have watched my angular tutorial or you know angular so that time what we do we just simply write image tag and after that source and here just we write the image path but guys in react we can do like this way otherwise we can just import the image import okay here any name like it, we don't need to write the image name any name you can write 
and here you have to be write the path okay and after that this one you can bind like this way i hope it is clear so don't confuse here so how my project is running and how the logo is coming so all the thing it's written the default component that is app.js and i have told the component means it's combined of js css okay so here you can see here is the css file also app.css so this css file linked like this so import dot app dot css like this one. so if i open css file so here you can see it's written some css file also for this design okay by default it's showing this design so now guys i don't need that this design so what i will do just i will remove and i will save so it's compiling start to compile here after compiling so here you can see design is break so now here this app.js i don't need this thing also so what i will do just this one i will keep it i will not remove this one because here it's a app so default class name i have to be right app by the way this class name you can change but it's it's a, like a common class okay when we will just why i'm use uh, it's uh, i'm keeping this common class so guys because suppose here we have created a uh, already created some component like home about and guys here we know react angular those are the single page right so that time sometime we can't understand from which component the data is coming design is coming so that time here if we inspect here okay so that time in the uh, elements here here we will get the common class name okay like here you can see this is app deep class app and how it is coming by this way so that time we can understand easily like this design it is in app component right we can go to the app component and we can modify this design if i if we understand i mean if, if we know this one so that's why always try to write in react the common class that is app okay so now guys here the thing is i don't need that design so i will remove that design all right okay i hope it is clear and now i will do save so you will find the design is removed so if i open so here you can see design is removed from here and in app component here you can see now it's nothing because i remove all the things so now suppose guys here if i write any h1 tag and if i write app component like this and if i save so you will find here a h1 tag is coming and now this is app component and here you can see h1 tag so i hope guys it is clear and he, up to here it is very simple right guys and css if you want to any design so you can write like h1 and color suppose if you want to add red color so save and you will find the color it's change and how this css it's coming so here just i imported this one and logo from here i have removed so this import logo this one i can remove from here so this is our main component right by default which we get it so now guys here in this component we don't write any code right why that you can understand after the next video i mean in next video that all the thing i will show you so guys this component we don't need to write any code so guys the app component i hope you have understand and this is our basic component so same way we will create our any other component like it may be the home it may be about contact us block define define component we can create as per our requirement okay so this is our source folder okay and everything is very simple but guys now the thing is index.js file so guys this is app component so this app component i will close the cs file css file okay and this is app component so this app component we called in index.js file actually this is the structure of react okay don't uh, need to be confused here this is the structure okay so this app component we called here you can see right by default you will get all the things so that's why we download react application by the command but if you won't download don't uh, do download by the command so all the thing you have to be do uh, custom way right so 
it's a time consuming so i will suggest to download react application by command so now guys here you can see i have called this app but guys before calling any component so you cannot write like this way only before that you have to be import right here you can see import app and this app a you can see it's a capital because the file name app.js here you can see it's a capital right so app from dot app folder and this one just i have added here using curly basis and something the syntax some syntax you can see it's a different okay so guys here uh, here you can import like this way also here like close bracket close slash and this way you can do that so th this way you can do that or otherwise you don't need to write like this way simply here you can write the close symbol like this way you can do that this is the thing so here what we, we are doing just this main component app those are calling these are calling here okay and after that here you can see it's a react dom dom means guys whatever we write in our page page means this this is the page right so the, this page whatever i will write that's called dom like deep class these are the dom also right so guys here it's a it's a imported react dom okay and guys here you can see this is document dot get element by id root okay root means this is our root okay because main so this index dot js here if i go to the public and if i open index dot html so here you can see it's called here deep id root okay so so guys that what is the thing what you have understand so guys in the preview actually we are seeing our index dot html file because anyhow we are calling app we are we have called index.js and index.js here it's a root so this root we have called in our html file at the end so means we are getting our html file preview here so that's why we called react is the single page right if you find the angular structure so same in angular structure you will get right and whatever if you want to change any metadata so you can change here okay and here you can see this is the title so if you want to change uh, your project name here like any hospital management school management any kind any bank project whatever you are making so if you want to add so you can change here like this way okay so this is our structure and guys now some other thing i want to clear in react we don't write class like any other thing like simple html project or angular we write class like suppose section we can write section and we can write like class okay class class and then class name like this way and we can do like this way but guys in react we don't write class here you can see we write class name so this the thing you have to be remember okay so here the another thing and guys the another thing that is here you can see it's showing a error suppose uh, if you are thinking i have written class so that's why so but if i change it class name also i will just uh, i will just get the error why because guys here you can see this is the another div and this is the another div okay another section you can say but guys here both the thing in react we need to wrap so if i just cut this one okay so you can see it's removed and if i paste uh, here so also the error is not coming because now this thing it's wrapped right it's wrapped by this d now here anything i can write i will not get error but here outside this one if i write so i will get error because this thing is not wrapped by anything right so that's why so always write a common class or if you don't write common class okay don't want to write so it's okay but you have to be wrapped so you can wrap like this way sometime 
we don't need to write like any scenario you are getting with that time we don't you don't want to write any class name for wrapping this one so you can write simply like open tag and close tag that's called react fragment okay so by this way you can wrap also but guys here this is a component right so that time we need to write a class common class because i have shown why we need to write because uh, if you don't know how the data is coming from which component so you can simply inspect or someone called it developer tool console so you can open that and simply we will get the class name and you can easily understand by this uh, in which component is coming so this is the basic structure okay and guys in react here uh, the one more thing the component it may be the functional component or it may be the class component in react there is the two thing class component or functional component so here i'm using functional component because here you can see function and the component name is app so it is called functional component and guys functional component and class component difference is functional comp component it's a render faster than class component okay that is the one different okay and major different so this is function and the uh, our uh, function name okay so guys here another thing which one you have to be always remember that is always when you will create any component and inside this component you will you have to be write this function okay function and the fun uh, function name i mean the component name you can say it okay the, here you have written the component in, uh, name app.js but when you will define a uh, component something you have to be follow this structure okay function because i'm creating functional component and the name so name always should be start from the capital letter here you can see a is the capital and after that just you have to be export this component like this so export default and the component name this one because guys why we need to export because the component we can call any other places like this app component i have shown already i have called it in i mean not i have called by default it's called in index.js file right so if we don't export so how we can import this app and how we can call so so first we need to uh, export like this way and after that anywhere suppose we want to call it in any other component so we can easily import and we can call like this way so i hope guys the basic structure it is clear and the package.json means guys some default uh, the thing dependencies i mean for running this project what we need so the package is installed here like react dom so here uh, you you have seen the react dom so those package already is installed here and if you, you download any external package like in normal javascript html program we just download any library so that time what we do just we we just uh import i mean add the link javascript link and we can use that library but here all whatever you will download so by default it will be automatically add hit here okay so that is the package.json and guys public folder here is the index.html actually in preview we just seen in index.html okay all the thing we just see in i mean all the component whatever we will create that will be rendered in index.html file and we see the preview actually in index.html file okay i hope it is clear and guys here if you want to add any logo or anything so that you can add here in index.html so in public folder actually so in public folder you can create a folder that is called you can call it assets and here you can add your all images and you can use that and i have already shown how can use the image you can import the image and you can use it or simply you can add the image path name both way you can use images okay i hope guys it is clear okay if you have any doubt so simply you can write in comment i will try to solve your doubt so just in the next video i will show you how you can create component and all the thing i will try to cover just here guys i'm sharing my knowledge here i'm not a teacher or anything okay and guys if you find this video is helpful so guys please like this video and if you want to learn or if you want to get the knowledge about react so please subscribe my channel also